What's up guys, it's Kai from WCC and uh, today we're going to talk about crit triggers again because yesterday some people wanted to know which crit triggers work well for which deck we're going to go through all the decks and we're going to talk about the new stride fodder crit how they fit in, if they want to fit in or not and which crits you will want to run so a few points here now is how, like what are, the, what are the criteria of running the new crits well one thing is do I need the soul Right. If I do, I need soul. If I need soul desperately, then I probably want to run the old crits or prioritize the old crits because they can kind of go to soul, draw one, and give 10k. Kind of filter your deck as well as maintaining your soul counts. The other thing that we have to consider when running these new crits is: Am I running stands or or like pre V triggers that are like really good? So if you're running those, they take up slots, and that means you actually have to prioritize or choose. Are we, are we running the 2020 crit or the 29 crit? So those things all you know, come into play. So I'm going to go through each nation and then just quickly talk about uh, which ones look pretty interesting. But generally speaking, a lot of the new clans, well, a lot of the clans will want to run the stride crit. One thing to note that we don't have all the premium collection 2020 strides yet. So that means that we have to speculate. We have to use our brains to speculate. we got to uh, look at the current premium bills and either go through that or we can assume that the standard builds will be very like similar or, or similar to the premium builds in the future uh, based on the fact that premium 2020 is all about standard plus uh, optimizing a standard deck for premium or just making your standard deck premium uh, premium viable so we'll have to go through that so let's go through the nations first nation is united sanctuary okay so right off the bat genesis i think a strike crit for sure if you're doing if you need the uh soul in crit to draw and gain power i think you're doing something wrong Oracle Think Tank, again, Stride Crit fits in easily. It's a 12 crit deck. You can even run Sentinel Crit when it comes into play because it just normally fits in well. And V grade threes mean you're always going to protect marker. You can be more aggressive like that. Otherwise, you know, that's fine. Just, just run the normal uh, nulls. Now, uh, sh the, big, the, the biggest ones, there's actually four, four in this, uh, four in this, four clans here that we have to talk about. Firstly, Royal Paladins. They run Flogal Crits, but they usually run 12 crit builds. So if they're running a 12 crit build, then very easily just put in all the crits and then just run Flogals and that is fine. But if you're only running something like 8 crit or less than 12 crit, that means you have to prioritize. And I think you just prioritize the stride crits. You don't really need the soul for the, uh, you don't really need soul for the deck at all. The only thing that uses soul is the counter charge really. Um, but yeah, the rest of the deck can be easily uh, just use stride crits because then you free up your grade 1 slots and your grade 1 slots are really good. Gold Paladin as well. Uh, you can... Current build of Gold Paladin, you can technically run both crits very easily because uh, it runs 8 crit. But if you if you think about the deck itself, like if there's any changes to it, right now the, the deck is very grade 3 heavy. So maybe the striding is not that useful. But the, the only thing I can definitely see right now, even with like the standard builds of Gold Paladin, we haven't seen the Premium Collection 2020 stride, but right now the standard build of Gold Paladin runs a great lot of grade 3s. But it generally runs 8 crits, so I think just you can just run all of it. Um, but prioritize the stride crit. I definitely don't think, you know, the, the extra draw when you maybe you get get the old uh, old soul in crit off of like a Spear X is worth it. Just having the extra consistency, I think, is just superior. And then Shadow Paladin. That one, you run Luad, so you never really have to care about striding. But there is certain situations, you know, when you ride a drag heart, you know, first turn you can't really get a free stride if you don't have enough grade ones for ritual four for drag four that can happen too uh but i think a lot of these stride problems have kind of be, been solved by things like morian spear which can you know fill up your grade one grade ones in the drop zone very quickly so i think that drag fall issue is not as significant as it again as well the morian spear does use up a soul so it could like you know put more basis for running the soul in uh crit but those situations where you actually just can't stride because you run a low grade 3 count and just have no resources to uh, get into a stride is actually just devastating. So maybe if you're opting for consistency, then yes, you can prioritize like a like a 4 stride crit with 2 uh, two sort like draw crit and the rest of stands or you just, if you're running heavy, heavier stands, like 7 stands, then yeah, you can change the ratios around. That does require a bit more testing. And lastly, Angel Feather. Uh, Sometimes you don't even run crits for Angel Feather, things like No CL is running stuff like 8 stands. And then the lastly, if you run like, you know, more up more stands sometimes, if you're just running like, you know, kind of like a combo, ultimate combo without crits, you're just going for big stand plays. 
then yeah, that's easy. You don't, you just, you're not running any crits. But I think you still prioritize strike crit if you're running that because strike crits just make it more consistent. That's it. Especially if you're no CL as well. No CL runs low grade three counts. So having, you know, X extra strike fodders is good. Okay, moving on to Dragon Empire. Straight up, Narukami, standard build, strike crit. Uh, Kagero, easy, easy strike crit. Um, Tachikaze, haven't seen the, the new stride yet, but if we think of Engerblader, I think just putting in four strike crit is correct. You never have soul problems. Murakumo, Murakumo standard uses a lot of soul, but do we have soul problems generally? No, we have decent soul cards like Jakutsu Girl and uh, Radiant Madame that help you out. So uh, running strike crit, I think is correct. If you're running heavier crit counts, which standard Murakumo kind of is going towards, like eight crit, then you have no problem. Easy times, right? Nubatama is the only thing that stands out here is that Nubatama, new Nubatama and old Nubatama kind of uses a bit of soul. So you might be looking into the draw crit as well. But Nubatama grade ones are generally pretty good. Um, so I think you can just prioritize a strike crit here with a sprinkle of the draw crit. So like 4 2 or even 3 3 if you're running like a 6 6 build. Uh, but if you're, yeah, again, 8 crit, easy times. Pel uh, Dark Zone, Dark Zone, most of these are pretty much running stride crits. Um, Dark Irregulars, yes, stride crits. Spike Brothers, I think, yes, stride crits. Hellheart 8, I think, will do stride crit just because you don't, you then don't have to choose between something like keeping your 9k uh, Dudley Searcher in your hand or using it for stride. Like, you have a crit, you have that, you can do both, right? This is better, I think. Uh, Geek Chronicle, I think, stride crit too. Uh, Pell Moon, Pell Moon, like current builds of Pell Moon. It's kind of iffy. If you're running Harry, you always can get like a stride every turn. If you're also if you have a Dorian, that helps you get your stride, but you only have one Dorian now, so tough luck. I still think if you're running crits in this deck, uh, the stride crit is correct. You don't really need the soul link. But I guess there's some time of shenanigans you can do with Pale Moon, calling out your draws, uh, draw crits, and then putting them in and getting more cards. That kind of works. But I think probably down to player preference. Uh, whether you want to run the draw crit or not. I think the strike crit is correct. Moving on to Zoo. Pretty much every Zoo clan will run strike crit in my opinion. Uh, the only thing that's weird is maybe Great Nature because they use a lot of soul and they have ways to get their grade threes in the hand so they don't really need that strike for as much. But Great Nature runs heavy crit counts anyway. They can run up to like 10 sometimes. So uh, yeah, easy, easy you can put in just Strike crits, no problem. Neo Nectar again, yeah, this is like a 12 crit lineup deck. Even at its lowest amount of crits, like 8 crit, you're still running both. And then Mega Colony, Mega Colony, actually, thinking about Mega Colony is actually a bit of a mix up because old Mega Colony does use a lot of soul. Uh, standard Mega Colony does use a lot of soul too. So maybe we do kind of have to think about um, if we want the soul in crit as well. One thing with Mega Colony is that some decks run the all G crit that doesn't let your opponent stand and it goes back to deck. So if you're running that, then it kind of limits space, especially if this deck is running draws as well. So this one, I think we might have to, you know, think about it a bit more, do some testing. If you have soul problems, then yes, put in the soul crit. But if you don't have soul problems, then default to the strike crit. And with both builds of Premium and standard Mega Colony. I think you run heavy grade three counts. So the stride problem might not be that bad. So yeah, that definitely requires a bit more testing when I think about it a bit more. Uh, moving on to the Star Stargate. Dimension Police, I don't think really matters. Just run the strike crit. Link Joker, strike crits. And then Nova Grapplers, I think strike crits. All of them, I think are just strike crits are better. Increased consistency. Never, like, I th Dimension Police, sure, right? You might. The Vanguard power does matter, so that one you might want to prioritize draw crits if you have problems with uh with the great thing. But I think we see that the new stride is is very good, They're very good. So you can play more grade threes with the new dimension, please. So yeah, actually running draw crits might not feel bad at all. You might just run eight crits anyway, so it just makes it easy. So dimension, please. That's the toss up there, and then finally of Megalonica, uh, Aqua Force. Do you want stride crits for that? Yeah, strike crits for sure. Um, Bermuda, I think strike crit is correct. And then Grand Blue, you just run so many crits, it doesn't matter. You run 12 crits, so it's like the easiest, easiest uh, insert of all time. So as you can see, most decks are running the new strike crit. And uh, the, the, the one thing that stands out is 
What about Sentinel crits? We, we've seen Sentinel crits for uh, Geek Chronicle, Neo Nectar, and Royal Paladin. So we can kind of assume every single clan is going to get Sentinel crits. I think Sentinel crits so far are just... Uh, they're less on the radar. The only thing you might really think of is Neo Nectar auto automatically insert 12 crits. Easy done. But things like Grand Blue, you probably still value the, the Null a bit more just because you can get it from G Guardians. And the rest of the decks, you have to really think, do you want to not be able to Null? but just have a really fat guard. And I think most of the times, the answer is maybe no, is maybe no. So, but that, that will change, that will change. We'll see what happens in the premium meta as it evolves, maybe 30K shields become really, really strong. So yeah, we'll, we'll have to see it from there. Uh, so that's it for the serious portion of this video. We have some revisions for the old video, the old art video of Crit Triggers. There has been a big change where we have seen the high quality version or the higher quality version of the art that Boucher has posted on their website. So we can actually work out what some of these cards look like and there have been changes to the, the nice looking tier list of, uh, of Crit Trigger. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're starting off with a bit of a minus here. So this is the Angel Feather Crit Trigger. This is called Augment Angel. And when... The picture was blurry, this card looked pretty cool, it fit the angel theme very well. But now that we have a better version of it, look at this, there's something wrong with the head here, okay? It looks like the head is like detached from the body, because like the hand is in this weird space where it's like nearly it's like holding up the head, alright? So if we do this pose, she's like doing it like, like this, but the hand looks like it's pushed back more. So there's definitely something wrong with this proportion i think and that absolutely ruined this picture for me that that's going from a rank straight down to d rank because i can't unsee this anymore i can't unsee this anymore it's it's just ruined it's just ruined okay sorry angel feather but yeah you, you're ruined lucky we might not play you in our decks all right next card that gets upgraded now this is a plus wrapping chorus trudy this is the bermuda triangle one um with the high quality art we look like this is actually a really good picture you know it's like fits bermuda although the color scheme Looked like it wasn't that cool, but when we see the nice, the nice high quality version, yeah, she's smiley, she's happy. We've got these cool coral fish here that just you know make it really cute and good looking. So and she's she's using like a like a yeti snowball blue or whatever. So yeah, that's cool. She goes up to A rank. Thank God she looks awesome. Uh, now we have the great nature one. We can finally see that this is not a turd. It is a squirrel, and it is like a I don't know if this is she, he's like holding like an explosion like like a bomb. Exploding Professor is an ocean. So after we see this picture, there's explosions, there's a bomb, um, there's a crazy squirrel, uh, he's got a great mustache. So I think now that we know that it's not a turd, it's safe to go up in rank. We put it up in a C, uh, maybe a low B, but I'm putting it in C for now. And then another great looking one is, uh, is Maiden of Polyantha. This one looks really nice, it's very cute. Uh, the, the flower girl thing, again, as I've said it before, they're always nice looking. So this goes up to an A, I think it's correct. And then we have something that looks absolutely disgusting, okay? Defilement Monster Dobluba. This is the this is the sumo alien platypus uh, monster crit trigger that I, that I saw for Dementia, please. We couldn't really see what it looked like. And that was a good thing, okay? Because I don't want to see what this actually looks This is disgusting. Look at this. He's shooting pink, like, not pink, green, vomit green puke out of his, his weird nose. And this is not even a cool looking alien. This is, this is just a disgusting alien, all right? It's, it's actually, it's, it's defiling my eyes, all right? It's defiling my, my eyes. Like, this, this thing just looks <laughs> terrible. This is, this is going down a rank. This is going to, like, F, F rank, okay? And finally, we have to end this video on a good note. Okay, we have Chad the Ghosty, alright? He's actually called Chad the Ghosty. Look at him. He looks damn awesome, alright? This is this is what a critical looks like. I've I've made even a better picture of this, alright? Look at look at this picture, alright? We have this is this is the grand blue thing now. We have the vanilla crit versus the Chad Ghosty, alright? We have these two vanilla crits that we're probably gonna take out. We're not gonna take out the vanilla boat, Banshee. That that thing stays, right? She looks good. But look at this. Okay, so we have we have the vanilla crits here, and we've got uh, if you're running either of these. You're doing it wrong, alright? Look at these. Look at these vanilla crits and why they're so bad. Look, this is a box. Top one is a box, not a pirate. Uh, why would you want to mimic a mortal? Because it's a mortal mimic, yeah? Uses the new guard power template to look hip and cool. The new guard power template is very tryhard. The old one is just, it's just perfection. Old, ancient perfection, alright? 
thinks the extra 1k power is good value. It is not, all right? 5k power versus 4k power of effect, 4k power all the time with effect, all right? See, this, this Knight Spirit tries to stay relevant with a superior ride. Superior ride sucks, right? No one uses it. It's not relevant. Is a Knight not a pirate, right? This is, this Grand Blue is a deck full of pirates under pirate. This is not a pirate, okay? Has five for a head like wannabe Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider was terrible. And then needs a sword for compensation, okay? You don't need a big sword, right? You just need a good effect, good art, right? That's all you need. Now let's look at the Chad Ghosty, right? Gets all the Banshees. When you play this card, the rest of your crit trigger should be Banshees. Should be 2019 Banshee, should be uh, vanilla Banshee, right? Looks strong, but still does two damage. Really strong effect, okay? Life of the party, even when dead, you'd hang out with Chad the Ghosty. Is doing the Chad pose. He's doing the, the Chad pose, that pose, right? It, it doesn't even look like he's knowing he's doing it. It's just natural to him, okay? Offers actual value to the deck because it has a good effect, all right? Uses the old, superior, superior old guard value template. The, again, yeah, the old one is just better. And then the flavor text says, he is the king of pirates, all right? That fits perfectly. Grand Blue, pirates, he's the king of pirates. He's in the deck. That's all you need. Look at the smile. That is your man, Chad the Ghosty, okay? Chad the Ghosty is so awesome. He goes up a tier. He goes to S tier, all right? So that is it with the tier list. You can see how the tier list has changed. Chad the Ghosty, alone at the top. He's just that cool. Everything else has moved up that we finally had a good look at. And the rest has kind of stayed the same, except for the Great Nature one. And then, uh, yeah, Angel Feather went down to D because it's just detached head, you know, D, that's where it is. And then, uh, yeah, Touch Kaze by itself. But Touch Kaze, even though it looks so bland and boring, it shouldn't hang with the absolute disgusting thing that is the Defilement Monster the blue bar. What a, what a terrible... The blue bar? Come on, man. Give us robots. Give us give us robots, okay? Don't give us this. Don't give us vomit, vomiting aliens, all right? That's it for the art... art uh, that's it for the art uh, tier list. Hope you guys liked it. Let us know uh, in the comments your favorite crit trigger. And uh, like the video because YouTube algorithm, blah, blah, blah. And yeah. See you guys in the next video. Bye.